I'd like to introduce the IntelliGel Dual ADSR. This is a classic ADSR design based in part on the Roland SH101, but with many enhancements that I'll go through in this video. So this is two independent ADSRs, and the one of the primary features that I'll show you right away are the sliders, which I find makes it really easy to set and visualize the envelope shape. Um, and it's one of my favorite features on a lot of classic synths too. So on each section, we've got a manual gate button, we have a switch to engage a special cycle mode, and we have three timing rates. So the fastest, you have an attack time of about one second, medium is about 10 seconds, which is similar to the 101, and slow, uh, the attack time is about 60 seconds long. In the jack section here, we have simultaneous positive and negative outputs of the envelope, an end of decay logic output, and a gate input jack, which is normal to the second one, so that one gate input can control both at the same time if you like. And a retrig jack, if your keyboard has a retrig output, depends on how it handles legato. And then the le level input allows you to dynamically control the level of each envelope output. Okay, I have a simple patch to start. I'm just gonna use the manual gate button, and I am opening a Linux VCA with just the positive out from envelope one, and I'm feeding it with two Dixies right now. So if I just press like this with all the sliders down, you hear a very short click, and right now I'm in the medium speed. I bring up the decay. So it's instant attack, and uh, it's there's no sustain or release. Um, now let's get a more of a smooth shape. If I go to a faster time, I can go to a slower time too. Next, I'd like to show you the cycle functionality. So with the same patch, I'm going to flick the switch up here into cycle mode. And because the attack and decay time are so short, you're, you're hearing a really fast um, LFO. I can go even faster if I go into the, the fastest time range. It's basically auto rate at this point. So as I adjust the attack and decay sliders, I will get a changing LFO shape. And they're going to re-trigger based on decay and relative to the sustain. Now, what's kind of cool on this is, this is with no, nothing patched into the gate input, but as soon as I patch something into gate, it breaks a normal that stops the cycling happening unless the gate is high. So, to my left, I have a keyboard that is going to provide the gate signal. So whenever I press a key, you're gonna hear cycling occurring. So what's kind of cool is if you have some sustain and some release on this, after you remove the gate from cycling, you'll get that release phase. I've got a simple patch with an arpeggiated pattern, the same two Dixies running through the Dr. Octor filter. So as I open up the filter, ADSR number one is controlling the VCA. So we've got a smoother sound here. And then VCA or ADSR number two is being triggered by the same gate. It's got a different um, shape and I'm going to apply that to the FM of the filter. Now if I take the patch out and I put it into the inverse envelope, you get a different effect. 